Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf. Uh, we're outside today at Bent Creek Golf Club. They've been kind enough to uh, let us use their practice facility today. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. Thomas, how are you today? I'm doing good. That's good. We're outside um, testing Cleveland uh, 2019 products uh, specifically. You had the chance to hit the Launcher UHX irons. I hit the Launcher HB Turbo irons. Uh, both products not necessarily suited for our own swings, but we had a chance to hit them and see how they felt, type of distance that we were able to gain. Um, I, I know we were both pretty impressed with them. Uh, Thomas, first of all, you hit the UHX pitching wedge, seven iron, four iron. Um, what are your initial takeaways there? Yeah, so the Cleveland UHX launcher, um, it was hollow, hollow club from kind of like four iron through seven iron. Mm -hmm. You could definitely notice that it was forgiving on, on those particular clubs. I was launching that four iron pretty far, mm -hmm. pretty straight, actually very forgiving. I think I might have commented how much straight I was hitting the four iron yeah. than I was actually hitting the seven iron, which is always always fun when you can hit four iron really, really well. So I'd actually be interested in possibly, you know, three or four iron playing something like this as playing around with it like a driving iron. It wouldn't be a bad option. Seven iron was pretty solid, going pretty far. It has got 30 degrees of loft on it, so it was going a little further than my normal traditional seven iron. And then eight through pitching wedge, those are more cavity back irons. Pitching wedge felt pretty good off the face. It's still slightly stronger than I'm used to at 44 degrees, which is kind of generally towards that game improvement ca uh, category with regards to the loft on the pitching wedge these days. Mm -hmm. um, but it was, it, was flight, it was flighting really, really, really well. Like I was able to hit some shots into the green, but was actually checking up on the greens, which was, which was really nice to see. So. And what did you think of both the feel and also, I know that's a, like a high strength steel club face there, and also the kind of the shape and size of the club at address, and yep. the profile and whatnot. So four iron definitely presented confidence, mm -hmm. absolutely. It, you know, a little larger, hollow uh, club, mm -hmm. looking down at it, definitely presented a little more confidence for me to go after a little harder. Seven iron looked pretty similar to a kind of, kind of your normal kind of seven iron, maybe slightly larger than kind of what, what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I play a blade for my seven iron. But it didn't look like it was overly massive or any like a max game improvement iron or anything like that. So it looked pretty good looking down at. Pitching waves looked nice. I think I, I kind of mentioned, it kind of looked like the, because we had a chance to test the uh, CBX wedge today mm -hmm. as well. It kind of looked like a CBX wedge. So I, kind of that pro progressive set, four iron through seven iron, mm -hmm. eight iron through wedge. And then it kind of would blend really, really well with like a CBX set by uh, by Cleveland as well. Yeah, they got a, a perfect blend, like a combo set. You know, combo sets a lot of times are talked about with, you know, a blade or, or kind of a um, shallow cavity. Uh, but here you got a hollow to cavity back to then your wedges, which also were cavity back with the CBX2s. Um, yep. Now, what type of player do you think would be best fit for a full set of launcher UHX irons? Yeah, so I would for sure come in and get fit to make sure you can specialize which particular irons a certain player is going to play, um, whether that be. UXX all the way through, or you could always mess around with Launcher H HB as well, or other kind of models as well. Um, but I would recommend kind of your mid to high, you know, mid handicap player, um, someone that's looking for an extra, extra distance, a little more forgiveness, mm -hmm. but does want to play a massive max game improvement iron at the same time. So right. yeah, it was, yeah, it was, I really liked it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and then I had the chance to hit the Launcher HB turbos, uh, pitching wedge, seven iron, four iron. Um, again, not necessarily fit for my swing speed. Um, but I was able to you know, get a feel for what they look like and how they perform out the face. Um, extreme distance is, I guess, the one way that I would uh, describe, describe them. And also, obviously, Launcher is the name of the club. Launched the ball way in the air. Um, yep. I enjoyed hitting them, for sure. Yeah, what did you think of the 4-iron looking down at it? What about the 7-iron and the pitching wedge? Yeah, the 4-iron is definitely unique to look at. Uh, it's got the, the high bore crown kind of sticks out behind it. presents that confidence for players that might, have, might struggle with you know, hitting that four iron in the air sometimes. Uh, and I was able to, even on my miss hits, I know I hit a few, you watched me hit, you know, not all of them were solid shots, but I hit a lot of them low on the face and I was still able to get that ball up in the air. So clearly Cleveland's doing something pretty well there at the Super Game Improvement Iron. Um, keeping that weight low, center of gravity low, and able to keep the ball in the air. Uh, seven iron pitching wedge, much more compact. Clearly it was a progressive shaping going on. Um, and the seven iron was more, more muted than the four iron, but there's yep. definitely you could present that confidence behind the club face as well at address. And then the pitching wedge, you couldn't really see anything besides okay. uh, the blade. Yeah, so seven iron, you could still see a little bit back there, but pitching yeah. wedge, nothing at all. Yep. Okay. Very, yep. very nice. Yeah. Uh, the golfers out there, the Cleveland Launcher HB Turbo and the Cleveland Launcher UHX irons, um, obviously great models for players that are looking to add more distance and more forgiveness to their game. If you feel that's you, uh, I would 
encourage you to talk to Second Swing Golf, a fitter such as Thomas Campbell here, and get fit for an iron set that is built for your game.